Hello, it is Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Tuesday puzzle, so uh, about the same difficulty as yesterday, probably, with another theme. And um, this edition, this themed edition of the Daily Solve, has been brought to us by Camtron, Jake Rodkin, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for directly supporting this channel and series. I do very much appreciate that. And I appreciate everybody who has uh, contributed to the Patreon campaign at any tier. You can do that at patreon.com slash daily solve. So again, thank you to everybody who has done so. There you can find all of the bonus video solves that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And you can also get one extra channel on the Daily Solve Discord chat server, but of course the rest of that Discord community is free for anybody to join. And um, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel, that's free of course. Thank you to everybody who has done that. So shall we get on to today's puzzle? This is, as I said, a Tuesday puzzle. It was constructed by Lou Weiss. This is Lou Weiss's first uh, puzzle for the New York Times, a debut construction by Lou Weiss for the Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's get going. We'll have to discern some kind of theme. No circled letters or anything like that yet. Media player debut of 2001. This is presumably an iPod that must have come out in 2001. Wow. It's more than 20 years ago. Oh, I was going to go reverse the crosses here, but... We can see the shining actress Shelley is Shelley Duvall. Okay, little devils could be imps, mischievous children. Land in the Andes could be Peru, situated among the Andes Mountains. Oops. And universal donor's blood type in brief. Oh, negative, I think, is the universal donor type. Does that work? Yes, a bill of fare is a menu. And air currents from the most typ typical direction. Oh, the prevailing winds. There we go. All right, so I, I suspect, as one of the long grid-spanning answers, I suspect this is going to be connected to the theme, but I am no idea what that's... No idea how. Anyway, a uh, big part of many kids' cereals would be sugar, I suppose, and packing, so to speak. Um, I'm actually not sure. What about this? Texture's response to a hilarious joke. Could it be <laughs> LOL with an extra L? I'm not sure. Oh no, LMAO. Yes. And then here we have packing, so to speak. Oh, right, packing, so to speak. What is that? Oh, armed. I see. You're packing as in you're armed with a weapon. Right. You're packing heat. Okay, so what about this? A kerfuffle could be an ado, a stir, and resorted to good old-fashioned know-who, say, called a friend, maybe? I don't know. Is that a phrase, called a friend? It's playing on resorted to good old-fashioned know-how, I would say. Not sure. Called seemed plausible. I'm not sure about the rest. Let's check the crosses. Oh, maybe not. Blank Piper. That looks like Pied Piper. Maybe it's not called anything. Uh, Pied Piper and Pageant Quaff. So uh, a hairdo, an updo, perhaps? Easy two-pointer. Oh, I think I know this. Is it a layup? That's when... I think that's in basketball when someone has basically positioned the ball right near the, the basket for you so you can just sort of tip it in or something. I hope that's not grievously wrong. What about this? Ice cream brand, Edie's, is an ice cream brand in the U.S. And then some labor leaders. So I wonder if this is a prefix to the word labor or a prefix that means labor, something like that, because it is a, it does have a question mark, which indicates pun or wordplay. So presumably we're not referring to labor union leaders or something like that. It's something punnier, or more tongue in cheek. But I don't see it immediately. Oh, doulas maybe. So labor as in giving birth. 
So it was, it was nothing. It was neither of the two things I mentioned. Um, yes, it's labor as in child child delivery, and a doula could lead that process. All right, takes overnight to think about. Sleeps on something. Segway before a conclusion. Uh, and so one might say, and so my conclusion is this railroad stop or RR stop. So, uh, the RR abbreviating railroad indicates that the answer will also be abbreviated. So it could be station. I, actually, I made this mistake the other day. Uh, it could be STA or STN. Those, each of those abbreviates to station. So what about this Dutch cheese? Dutch Edom is an example of a Dutch cheese. So station is STA. Top military leaders in Washington. This looks like Pentagon. Pentagon being the the building, uh, Department of Defense building, and then therefore serving as the defense apparatus word for the defense apparatus in general. So Pentagon what brass? Pentagon brass. Brass meaning top military officials. Title city in a 2014 Ava DuVernay film. Selma, Selma, Alabama. And little piggies in the nursery rhyme. Your little piggies are your your toes are the little piggies. Ceases could be stops or cans maybe in three letters or what is this? Club blank resort. Club med. Some kind of resort. And entrepreneur Musk is Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla Motors, I guess. And ceases is ends. Okay, so there we have that. Cut in editing. Oh, delete. You could delete um, a word, obviously, if you're editing a manuscript. Dogs, pl please. <laughs> what is that? A whine, perhaps? A, a dog might whine for a treat. And way into a sub. So this could mean a sub is in a submarine, of course, but it could also mean sub is in a submarine sandwich. I'm wondering if there's something. Oh no, I, I guess not. It's a. I have to keep reminding myself. This is an early week crossword, so we're not going to have a lot of misdirection. It's just a hatch. It is, in fact, a way to get into a submarine. You open the hatch and you go into the submarine. There we go. Shape describing a complex love relationship. You could have a love triangle. It's a common device in fiction and life, I guess, but used to refer to fiction usually. Screed could be a rant. And a rock band name with a slash would be ACDC. Um, fit to, if things fit together well, they mesh. And so here we have transport between airport terminals, a tram. That's a common form of transport between terminals. And a marathon is a race. So there we have that. Uh, blank go bra, Aaron go bra. It's Irish, an Irish phrase, right? And then clear if one of one is clear of something, one is rid of something. Oh, resorted to some good old fashioned know who say is pulled strings. Right. So it wasn't it wasn't called anybody, it wasn't friend, it was pulled pulled strings. So you you leveraged your connection. So what do what do we have here? We have pulled strings, prevailing winds, pentagon, brass. Ah, these are um categories of instruments. I guess symphonic instruments, maybe most specifically. So wind instruments, string instruments, and brass instruments. So presumably we will end up with a revealer that refers to the ends of these clues or something. Let's let's just uh, let's not jump to it. We'll just wait and see what happens. Mash prepared for a luau. Uh, poi, I believe, right? A uh, a dish. It's a sacred song. A pean. Is that intrinsically sacred? Oh, no, a psalm, of course. Sorry, a psalm. Yes. I was thinking him, but that obviously doesn't fit. And then I went to a totally different place. It would be a psalm. A business appointment could be a meeting, abbreviated. And the APPT, abbreviated of a, uh, abbreviating appointment, indicates the answer will also be abbreviated. Neither a borrower nor a lender be Hamlet. That is truly incredible how many common, common phrases... Uh, appear in Shakespeare, presumably originating most of them. The East is Asia, I suppose, generally. And the beginning as of symptoms is on the onset of symptoms. And then here we have sketch show VIPs who get a jacket for their fifth appearance. Hmm. 
I had no idea about this, but I guess it must be host, SNL hosts, Saturday Night Live hosts. And the oh, here's another <laughs> bit from Hamlet. The lady doth protest, protest too much, methinks, goes the quote. Sure blank, you bet, sure thing. And survive a round of musical chairs. I suppose if you manage to sit in musical chairs, you survive the round. Gained influence as gained influence as an idea. Took root, perhaps. If an idea took root, it gained influence. I'm not 100 percent certain, but we'll just we'll remember that that was slightly speculative. In case the crosses don't match, a terse denial could be nope. So very curt, quick denial. Spike TV previously. Yeah. No idea. Um, seat in the iconic photo lunch atop a skyscraper. Skyscraper. I think I know this photograph. It's um, construction workers on... Is it... I don't know. Is it the construction of the Empire State Building or something completely unrelated? I don't remember, but it's in New York, I'm pretty sure. And... Uh, they're on a beam. They're on an I. So it's either an I beam or an H beam. So the, I don't. So Tristan almost not be nope. Oh, not I. I see. So it's a deni- I see. I suppose that's a bit of a closer match for a denial because you're saying no. It wasn't. It was not I. Not I. Um. So here we have one maybe taken in protest. Ah, you could take the knee, and so that fills this. What is this? Spike TV previously T N N. Okay. So this is I suppose. Yeah, it's two channel the channel that preceded a different uh, television channel, and then Haven as for endangered wildlife. Um. Oh, a um. <laughs> I can think of the word and I can't bring it. Uh, what is it? Oh, this is infuriating. Um, wildlife refuge. There we go. Ah, it really took me a while. Okay, and a G-sharp equivalent. Oh, maybe it's not refuge. After all that. No, it must not be. Because a G-sharp equivalent, musically, the equivalent of G-sharp would be A-flat, and that's um, a little tie-in, I suppose, to our bigger theme. So what... Oh, sorry, did I type refuge? What did I do there? It is refuge. What did I do? Did I type... Red Juve or something? What? <laughs> no idea. Sorry. I'm not sure what that was about. Exam for an aspiring attorney. The LSATs. That's the legal standardized achievement test, I think. And pretenses one may put on. You could put on airs. Oops. And put on airs meaning adopt a um, uh, an affected attitude, I suppose. Frozen dessert chain chain owned by Mrs. Fields. Oh, uh, I don't know. Although this looks like music. This looks like a revealer. Rogers and Hammerstein's Do Re Mi show with a hint to this puzzle's theme. Ah, the sound of music. So Do Re Mi, right, from the sound of music. And then that's our hint to the, to the clue. So is there anything about the first half of these that relates? I don't think so. Prevailing winds, pulled strings, pentagon brass. I don't think so. Um, I think it's just that we're getting the various sounds of music. These are literally the sounds of music, the winds, the strings, and the brass. Okay, stuff to wear is garb, garments, and, oh, um, TCBY. I, I recognize that, actually. And then a crafty website is Etsy, which is definitely becoming a bit of common crossword ease, I would say. Makes sense. Look, at these are incredibly useful letters to end words. Okay, good at fixing leaky faucets and creaky hinges, say. Well, I guess would have been handy if not for took root. Uh, awful, just awful. Could be ug and interrogate. Maybe this isn't, yeah, th perhaps this is not took root. Because this looks like grill, to interrogate somebody is to grill them. And this does look like... Handy. Ah, indeed, it's not took root, it's took hold. So first, take to the sky is fly. A bird flies, it takes to the sky. Took hold, looks fine. Thor's father is Odin, the uh, Norse god. 
and lead into la is ooh, ooh la la. Oh, I can't believe it. What? So Egyptian sun god for the second, is this the second day in a row? No, it was two days ago that we had Amun-Ra. And I think we spelled it A-M-U-N that day. So we're spelling it another way today, A-M-O-N-R-A, Amun-Ra. Truly ridiculous. We had a comment from, I think it was Michelle McBride Charpentier who said, who pointed out, I think I think he compiled the different ways it had been spelled over the past several months. And um, anyway, here's here's one more instance for the list. Okay, repeatedly comments on harps on perhaps, and website developers code could be HTML hypertext markup language. Um, if a music recording, speaking of music, is not in stereo, it is in mono, so only a single audio channel rather than two, as in stereo. A sailor's greeting could be ahoy. And Janet Reno was the first female attorney general, and that crosses with City on the Rhone and France, which is Lyon. So there it is. All right. And uh, that is the puzzle today. Sorry that the... Um, Music wasn't as loud. Someone, someone was dismayed about the quieter music. I it's just a, I forgot to fix that today. Apologies. Um, and that's that. So the Tuesday crossword with our sound of music, including brass, strings, and winds. And I think that I think that's about it. I think that was the. I think that's the full extent of the theme today. I hope I'm not wrong. I mean, we also have this A flat, this small musical clue here, although I don't think that's expressly part of the theme. I think it's just, um, it's intentional and it's it sort of echoes the theme, but I don't think it points to any larger uh, mechanic going on. I, tr- I honestly, I cannot believe this Amun-Ra thing. <laughs> After dwelling on that the other day, we have a completely different spelling yet again. Um, but I think that's it. Uh, a, a, a fairly straightforward puzzle. Otherwise, we had some clever answers, like some labor leaders being doulas. That is very clever. Uh, and I'm trying to think, was there anything that gave me difficulty today? I don't think. Just pulled strings, took me a moment, took hold. I mean, I don't know, neither of those were huge problems. Yeah, a good solid Tuesday puzzle. Not too difficult. That's what we look for on a Tuesday. So let me do that. And we can discuss some clues from yesterday's puzzle. I don't think there were many, actually. So this should be fairly quick. Oh, I just have one. I hope I'm not missing anything important. But all I had was this one from Life Is Boss saying, A clue got skipped today. 16 across. Outro for the closing of a piece of music. Well, that's a, that's appropriate to close this musical crossword today. Um, yep, as usual, I missed, I did miss a clue. Uh, so thank you, Life Is Boss, for that. An outro. Did I say intro? I don't know. Outro, the closing to a piece of music. And that's it. That's the closing to this video because I didn't have anything else earmarked. So thank you so much for joining me for today's Tuesday puzzle. I'll be back, of course, tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle. And that should be a little bit of a step up in difficulty for our uh, our next themed puzzle of the week. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll be back then. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. <laughs>